Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And um, of course, I um, get requests and questions from people that are asking me, from viewers that are asking me, uh, you know, what do we know about what's coming up in the future of Windows? A lot of you, of course, are uh, still stuck on the fact that uh, you think Windows 11 is a thing, which is not, and it still isn't, and it still has no, uh, really nothing that, will indicate that it will ever happen and of course uh, it's because Windows 10 is a different operating system it's always uh, being updated all the time uh, once again there's always new features and new things coming in Windows 10 I have some people that posted well you know now it's uh, it's finished no it's not it's con it's an evolving system you're uh, this is a new way of doing things um, we do have, so of course some of you have heard that, you know, that 20H1 would be released before the end of the year already. And uh, so that means that the November 2019 update is, is already going to be replaced, re you know, very fast. Uh, one of the false or fake news that I see a lot, people saying, oh, they're rushing that one because the November 2019 update is bad. It's not. It's actually, uh, you know, as, as of now, I would say it's actually one of the best Windows 10 versions that I th still think everybody should be on. Uh, it's really, really stable, really, really good. And um, I mean, it's as good as Windows 10 could be. Um, so, you know, it's actually rolling out very well. Uh, it's really like a service pack of, of the May 2019 update if you want. Um, the um, other thing that uh, people are asking questions about the fact that 20H1 is going to arrive before the end of the year, no, not for everybody. Uh, regular folks, uh, you out there, the, what, what's happening right now? We know that 20H1, the next version of Windows 10, is feature complete. We know that it is pretty much finished for that version. Um, but they're not going to release it now. Uh, even insiders are apparently not supposed to have it before at least January. So it's there's there's no big rush, and I think they're testing it really a lot. But we know that... The reason why it's actually uh, so far in advance already finished is that they apparently want to keep that March-September um, rollout thing. And of course, the last few updates all been kind of late, you know, uh, April or uh, May or, you know, they, they don't have it like, you know, November 2019 update is was supposed to, it's 1909, it was supposed to be September they want to get back into the official months where it's a release. So uh, March of 2020 is the rollout of 20H1. If everything goes like they want, it's officially March. So for for once, it's going to be in the month that they're supposed to. And well, it'd be called 2003. I don't know. It would make it weird because, you know, there was Windows Server 2003. That would make it bizarre in some way. But um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's crazy, but apparently March of 2020 is the next version, uh, and they are pushing for everybody to get that version starting March of uh, 2020. A few of you have reported on a post where people say, oh, they're changing things again, and uh, we will be forced to 20H1, and no, it, we're in a new way of doing things now. Microsoft understands that you might not want to have that version. It's an optional update. It will stay optional updates throughout the year of 2020 also for 20H1, uh, that's for sure. And there's 20H2 also later in the year. Uh, some of you again saying, you know, well, you know, there's barely, it's going to stop at 20H1. No, 20H2 is a thing. It's already being tested internally at Microsoft. So two versions of Windows next year. Unfortunately, uh, you know, signs are that it will be two major versions, with, which is not necessarily what we want. Uh, you know, this year is kind of a nice one, a uh, big, big version at the beginning of the year and a, uh, you know, kind of a cumulative update, smaller version at the end. It'd be nice if Microsoft understood that that's the way we want it. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that's the way that they uh, want it. So anyways, we'll see what's going to happen uh, for sure. It's also going to be interesting with Windows 7 being, uh, you know, close to the end of support uh, because January uh, 2020 is when Windows 7 gets its last uh, security update. So this is interesting because it is also going to uh, probably have an impact on Windows 10. And we are pretty sure that 
you know, in 2020, Windows 10 will be more than a billion PCs out there. That's going to be interesting. More than a billion devices will be running this, uh, which is pretty cool when you think about it. Uh, pretty amazing that an operating system runs on so many devices, of course. So anyways, that's where we are at, and that's what we know right now. And as for the features of 20H1, not that many new features compared to November 2019 update, actually. Um, it's very, very uh, small, the number of new features that are in there. So it's not going to be a very big update in terms of features, uh, that's for sure. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.